people that use fiat currency as a store of value, there's a name for them. We call them poor. Okay. Uh, anybody that's rich in the world, they own property. They own they own large swathes of land. The royal family of England, it didn't sell all of its property in central London in order to buy uh, you know, currency or paper money, nor did the royal family of, uh, of Japan, nor did the royal family in the Middle East. In fact, they want to own the property forever. I want to want you to imagine Bitcoin is it's a city in cyberspace that 276 blocks wide, 276 blocks high, 276 blocks deep, about 21 million blocks. Now imagine all 8 billion people in the world want to live there one day. They want to put their capital there. There's $900 trillion of, of wealth in the world. As people migrate from uh, from every other form of property and they assets into cyberspace, you're going to see the Bitcoin network go from a trillion dollar network to a 10x that to a 100x that. And there really is nowhere else to go. It is the apex property of the human race. Bitcoin stands as the pinnacle of property, the paramount asset class, according to Michael Saylor. He articulates a vision where individuals migrate from traditional forms of property to the digital realm, propelling the Bitcoin network's value exponentially. Saylor likens Bitcoin to prime real estate in cyberspace, underscoring its role as a long-term store of value akin to prestigious real estate holdings. In Saylor's perspective, Bitcoin's purpose lies in capital preservation, making it an attractive option for those aiming to safeguard wealth across generations. He advocates for holding on to Bitcoin indefinitely, emphasizing its superior potential for appreciation compared to conventional assets like stocks or real estate. Saylor concludes with insights into the factors driving Bitcoin's price to potentially reach 10x or even 100x in the years ahead. Ten Ever feel like you're wasting your money on things that don't really matter? Stop. You don't have time. Don't miss out on this 2025 bull run. Educate yourself now. Don't spend $12.50 on junk. Educate yourself on how to be successful in crypto using our Crypto Cheat Guide. Unlock the secrets of crypto and make smarter investments today. Visit the website now and the link in the description for your exclusive copy. Start your journey to crypto success today. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. Yeah, well, we think uh, Bitcoin is the highest form of property. It's the apex property in the world. Uh, and... It's um, it's the best investment asset. So the end game is to acquire more Bitcoin. Um, whoever gets the most Bitcoin wins. Well, um, let's keep in mind the, the fundamental principle. What, what's the use case of Bitcoin? It's it's capital preservation. So if you have a billion dollars and you live in South America or you live in Asia, or you live in Africa and you want the capital to last for 100 years, you're not going to want to buy a billion dollar company or a billion dollar building or a billion dollars of land in any place in Africa. You're going to have to find some other form of property that you can hold for a long period of time. Uh, let's take New York City. Uh, developers of New York City in 1776 didn't have an end game. Uh, they've been raising capital to invest in New York City real estate at the all time high for 300 years. If you went and talked to them today and you said, What's your end game? They would say, well, we're going to keep investing in New York City. If you've ever talked to a person that owned an apartment in New York City, no one aspires to hold the apartment for a few years, sell the apartment and move out of New York City. They put it in their will. They give it to their children. And if you ask them why, they say there's no better place on earth to live than New York. There's there is no place up from there. So New York City is the end game uh, for people that uh, that want to live in the greatest city in North America. Bitcoin is the end game for anybody that wants to own the greatest property in the 21st century. We believe that the that the highest best use of capital is to buy Bitcoin and hold the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is going to appreciate in value faster than the S and P index. It's going to appreciate in value faster than commercial real estate. And so there, there's no point in selling the winner to buy the losers. And Bitcoin is the winner. And so we're just going to keep acquiring Bitcoin with our cash flows, with uh, with equity or capital raises, 
any other uh, accretive uh, method that comes to mind. Right now, uh, an institutional investor that wants to buy Bitcoin has a choice of uh, investing in the ETFs of which, you know, BlackRock and Fidelity and uh, are very well known, or investing in some other company that has a Bitcoin strategy like MicroStrategy. Uh, you could think of the ETFs like, uh, like ocean going container ships. They can carry huge amounts of capital. You can invest a billion dollars a day in the BlackRock ETF. They could take on hundreds of billions of dollars of capital. They're not going to trade at a premium. But what they don't have is performance and leverage. MicroStrategy is different because uh, our capital isn't, you can't redeem our shares. So it's possible for our shares to trade at a premium. We're an operating company. And that means when our shares trade at a premium, we can either raise capital through convertible debt or through equity. When we do that, we're doing it at a premium to the underlying assets that captures uh, an accretion for our underlying shareholders. So following uh, a debt deal where we swap the debt for Bitcoin, our common stock shareholders have more Bitcoin per share than they did before the deal. So another way to say that is, if you want to pay 25 basis points and be one to one levered, then you would buy the ETF. But if you actually want to generate an accretion or a yield and not pay the fee and have leverage, then you would buy a stock like MicroStrategy. You could think of us as like uh, we're like air freight. We're Federal Express. We can take you faster, but we're never going to carry the same amount of capital in our payload as a super tanker or a container ship. So there, there's place for both of those strategies. And in fact, they're very complementary. I think the ETFs benefit from the existence of companies like MicroStrategy and MicroStrategy benefits from the existence of the ETFs. Well, you can see uh, if you look at our past, there have been periods uh, during the crypto winter when Bitcoin went from 66,000 all the way down to 16,000. Uh, in that case, we'd simply hold the Bitcoin instead of being 20% levered, we become 40% or 60% levered. Um, the and the way that we raise the capital is using convertible debt and so the convertible debt is a unsecured uh instrument it's not marked to market it doesn't come due uh, except in four five or six years from the point that we issued it and uh it's not secured against any other kind of capital so we don't have to actually do anything we just wait uh for the market to recover and and that's what we did uh, in 22 and in 23 we recovered and our shareholders benefited from the deleveraging as Bitcoin rallied in the other direction. Michael Saylor emerges with unwavering confidence in Bitcoin's supremacy as the ultimate form of property and investment asset. His analysis delves into the shifting landscape of wealth preservation and accumulation in the digital era. Saylor's comparison of Bitcoin to prime real estate and cyberspace strikes a chord with individuals and institutions alike all seeking to fortify their financial futures. His steadfast commitment to accumulating Bitcoin reflects a deep belief in its enduring value proposition and transformative potential. Despite the intricacies of MicroStrategy's capital structure and premium valuation, Saylor remains resolute in leveraging Bitcoin to enhance shareholder value. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.